Words have power. We can use them to speak life, encouragement and praise, or to speak death through gossiping, cursing and bitterness. James 3, 9-11 says, With the tongue we praise our Lord and Father, and with it we curse human beings who have been made in God's likeness. Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. Speaking life consistently is an important manifestation of holiness. So how can we use the power of words in our prayer time? One of the best known ways is praying the Bible. Through this ancient practice, we begin to pray actual Bible verses and chapters, phrase by phrase, slowly and repetitively, to edify ourselves or to encourage others, learning God's thoughts and vocabulary from Scripture. When we meditate on God's Word, we should use our voice. Praying out loud is also helpful so we know when we have stopped and because it's hard to think about something else when we're talking. So for example, in Psalm 1 verse 2 we read that blessed is the man whose delight is in the law of the Lord and on his law he meditates day and night. Our prayer based on this verse can be, Lord, give me a passion for your word. I want to spend time in it. I want to study it so that in whatever moment of my life I find myself, it can bring comfort and blessing to my soul. And so it's possible to pray the Bible with countless passages. Here are some further examples you may want to look at. To meditate on Christ's suffering, Isaiah 53, Psalm 22 and Philippians 2 are helpful. There are wonderful prayers of revelation to who God is, which can be found in Revelation 4, 8 to 11, and 5, 8 to 14. The Psalms too are excellent prayers in themselves. Maybe start by reading Psalm 103, Psalm 91, and Psalm 51. And some suggestions for prayers for the church can be found in Colossians 1 and Ephesians 1 and 3. And finally, the Salvation Army Songbook is also a rich book of prayer. How about these verses to pray for? Give us faith, O Lord, we cry, faith for greater things. I am praying, blessed Saviour, to be more and more like Thee. Jesus shall conquer, lift up the strain, evil shall perish and righteousness shall reign. What wonderful prayers and declarations we can take hold of to enrich our prayer time even more.